And to this, um, you know, there's loads of herbs you can use, but what's really nice actually to use is, is rocket as a herb, because wild rocket has a really strong, robust taste, and it's quite robust in texture as well. So I'm just going to chop some of this rocket up and use it like you would basil or parsley or any other kind of herb. Cut it quite roughly, put some in. Again, a bit more lemon juice. Good glug of olive oil. Would this be your, um, your Italian rocket? So. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, most of, yeah. I mean, this sort of rocket generally is Italian, you get. I mean, you do get French, you get French variety, but it's never quite as, as, as robust. Yeah. It's not as green. I mean, this is really kind of brittle, kind of. Right. And, and it's very hot. It's almost like eating a chili sometimes. So this is some gorgonzola, very creamy gorgonzola, and some mascarpone. And I'm going to put both of these in the pan, and I can take the chicken out. Theo, why are you using those two cheeses? Well, I'm using the mascarpone to sort of emulsify the, the, the sauce with the gorgonzola. Right. And the gorgonzola, because it'll add a kind of all nuttiness and a kick to that chicken, I'll probably need a little bit. I can't wait to try it. Are we nearly there? I think it's ready now, so I'm going to take it out of the oven. Yep. Look at that. Look at this lovely, lovely juice there, so I'm just going to put this really rich, fatty mix of gorgonzola and mascarpone in. Mm, and just sort fantastic. of melt that in. That's going to look so nice and crispy. Take the chicken out to the nice sauce. And it just melts in all those lovely juices there. So it's lovely, it's really juicy, the chicken still, because it's got the fat from the legs, so it's kind of basted it while it's, while it's cooking. It smells amazing. Mix that in. So there are the lentils. The, the rocket's all wilted and it's got love that bright, bright green colour. What do you reckon, Matt? Looks good, huh? And then looks really good. Finishing touches. It's quite nice if you actually just leave a little bit of the gorgonzola <coughs> unsort of melted. So you get still get that lovely flavour. That will of the continue to melt as you pour it on the top, melt, really, yeah. won't it? But that's a real kind of wow. additional sort of seasoning to that dish. Fantastic. Really rich and creamy. Beautiful. Yeah. Chicken with gorgonzola. Okay, let's get the verdict from the yeah. diners. Come on. This looks amazing. Ladies first. Amazing. Would you do this, Matt? Sorry? Would you make this? Yeah, I would. I think it looks it looks gorgeous. It's not I mean mascarpone, it's not something that sort of jumps into my head. What's it like, guys? It's like roast chicken but with like creamy, lovely, beautiful sauce. Mm. Cheese works very well, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, cheese is nice. I don't normally put cheese with chicken. I don't think it's put that together, but it's good. If you would like to make Theo's dish, you need to buy a chicken and pick up rosemary, garlic and lemon for the marinade. And for the lentils, you need more lemon, garlic, rocket, sage and olive oil. To make the dressing, you need lemon, olive oil and basil leaves. And finally, to pour over the chicken, you need mascarpone and gorgonzola cheese.